Welcome to the World United. Welcome to the World United. Uja Gurwalji, she's the author of uh, Did You Say Life? I heard in a well. What a wonderful topic. And uh, she is the assistant vice president with the renowned bank as a financial person. So this bank is in UK. She's a life coach, energy coach, and a healer. And uh, she deals with the inner child healings as well. She believes that love is a superpower. Uh, she will be giving the uh, talk on the art of forgiveness in making choices. Over to Pooja Ji. Thank you. Thank you so much. And uh, thank you Inka, for such a beautiful uh, uh, introduction. Uh, I was just thinking about uh, forgiveness before uh, delivering the talk and said, who needs to have this forgiveness uh, first? Like right? me forever. I always need to have my own uh, segment of forgiveness. And I think uh, everyone uh, forever needs their own share of forgiveness to be held always. You always need to forgive your own self till the time you reach that, that level of consciousness that you just start throwing forgiveness. Uh, so I thought how I should be starting with this topic about uh, the art of forgiveness and making choices. Uh, we all are living in a 3D material world uh, and uh, always dealing with some or a different kind of choices like right or left, uh, up or down or any choices. Ch uh, do, do we even want to have a tea or a, or a coffee or anything? It's a choice that we are always living in. So. Uh, relating choice making to forgiveness uh, uh, if we understand this then we understand the uh, role of how ego play uh, how, the role that ego plays in not forgiving us and how it thrives us in, in this 3D material world and keeping us to a lower consciousness level let me uh, start with the basic thought of what is forgiveness if we talk about forgiveness, as of today, the forgiveness in a layman language is an act which is happening between me and you or between me and the second person or uh, between me and uh, another soul or it is also a, an act which is happening between me and any other activity, right? But why do we need forgiveness? If I need forgiveness, that means there have been a discord between me or the other soul or the activity which had caused a disharmony. A disharmony wherein I am not in peace with my own self and I think that probably I have done something wrong and I need to ask seek for forgiveness or I need to show forgiveness or I, I need forgiveness for some, for, from someone. That the I, the ego I that we say uh, the identity which creates the I needs the forgiveness. But the very idea that the forgiveness is on, the forgiveness is one thing which you only need for your own self first, instead of seeking or giving forgiveness. Because you are in disharmony or discord with something that you did or in some task you were and it created this harmony, it, it unease you, release you from your peace, cause disturbance. And, and I think someone needs to go on mute. Uh, it's, so anything which is causing me unease, not in peace, is lead is harming my inner self. I need to I need to seek forgiveness. And if anything that is disturbing my own self or my own soul, I need to show forgiveness towards my own self. If I forgive my own self to be a part of that situation, which caused me unease, won't I be able to make a new choice to step out of that situation and say, okay. This is not me. I need to move out, create a new situation or create a new choice than to linger on. How many times do we see ourselves that 
we are sticking on to one particular situation because we chose that situation. We choose to be in that situation and holding on to that situation isn't this an ego identity. That I want to be a part of this situation because I selected that situation in front of 10 or 20 odd people, a million odd people and now I need to carry that name with me. Even if that name is wrong, who I need to forgive? I need to forgive my own self first and then say, okay, I did something wrong and I choose to be a better person and I choose to make a better choice. If I start understanding this whole concept wherein I start forgiving myself for every wrong thing or to be a part of every wrong decision that I took, don't I create a new choice in my life which is much more in harmony with my soul, with my heart, with my unity consciousness and help, unity consciousness and help me evolve. Most of the time, let me ask you, what does this forgiveness give me? The forgiveness gives me calm. The calmness that I, I am seeking forever. It gives me peace because I'm no more in discord with those things, situations, souls which were creating this harmony in my life. And it gives me an open mindset. To make a choice, you need to have an open mindset there because then only the ideas can flow towards you. You do not judge other person by the opinion of other person and say, okay, probably he or she have given me this opinion or this set of opinion or he or she have said this thing to me because he or she might be going off from somewhere or something or some, some something might have some events would have been there in his or her life that would have caused such experience and it's not, it's not necessary that I need to buy into their words. I forgive that person for anything, any harshness that the other person has said and I forgive myself and I take my own choice and uplift myself. I remain open. I do not judge. Calmness. How, it, how does forgiveness offers me a calmness? The moment I am, I choose to be, stand different from anything which is causing me this harmony or this part, and I choose to forgive that person and move my own self or forgive that situation or forgive that opportunity or forgive any wrong decision that I have taken, and move beyond and make a new choice, don't I be much more calm and much more peaceful in my life? What are choices? Choices are the action that we do take in our everyday life, moment to moment, second to second. As of now, also, we are taking a choice to either listen to me or to go into something else, some other activity. But it is my decision to stay here and listen how these choices are, how forgiveness and choices are correlated for any wrong decision that I'm taking. Am I there to stand up for my own self and say, okay, I, I followed the path, I followed the trend and I saw myself in the shit and this is not where I want to be. I want to come out of it. I forgive myself. And the moment I forgive myself, I take a new decision and say, okay, right wasn't meant for me. Let me take the left and see what, what's happening in my life. To relate forgiveness and to choice, the one very important thing that I need to do is to listen to my heart. And when I start forgiving people and forgiving my own self, I start listening to my heart more and more, more often because I know if there's something not happening in my life not the way it should be or which is giving me a more peaceful situation let's not just talk about how it should be probably you just see if it's something it's not causing me peace can i choose to go beyond it and forgive the part of all the suffering that, that the other decision caused me embrace take the responsibility and make a new choice okay let me start a new business venture. How do I do about it? That using the tool of forgiveness can make me create better choices. I take the 100% responsibility of it 
this is 100% me and 0% them the moment i take the 100% responsibility of it i know i can change it with a new choice but to take 100% responsibility of it i need to i as a person as a soul need to stand up and say okay don't worry something wrong happen in your life let's move beyond let's start something new there is a very classic example uh, uh, that i would like to quote here is i have just written on to that that you uh, whenever you are fluent whenever you are forgiving something or forgiving any person you are forgiving from the heart and you stop judging other person in that sense and something or anything which is driving their action and the most classic example that fit here is of of a parenting as a parent we tend to choose the role of ourselves in that role for the longest of the time even at the when we do not need that role and we and and we pass on to our uh, judgment and and we say no you, you have to do this look i here is not of a parent but of an ego identity that i am the boss i need to do something which i am telling you even when the person when the when the child have come up into an adulthood still we drive from a child perspective can we can as as a child as a daughter or as a son i when i say that i choose to forgive my parents and i take the path that i want to take i make a new choice but i still love my parents because i know that they are coming from some condition in which their parents would have flowed into them and say okay theek hai not necessary that they don't need to understand me because they have been through some conditioning but i am now at an evolved mindset i tend to forgive them up and i choose to forgive my own self and choose to make new choices in my life i start recognizing to make to make a new choice in life first i need to accept it recognize it and flow forgiveness for anything wrong done the moment i do this i start making a new action which is more in sync with my life with my heart with my soul with the unity consciousness and the moment i do the step 2 i am creating a new life which is at least more peaceful and this is how we do it using the art of forgiveness and making new choice because to make a new choice you always have to forgive the old choice and not carry on to that old choice with you because if you carry on to that old choice you would even make a wrong decision in the new choice with the same learning and uh, i open myself to all all questions that you have regarding forgiveness and the uh, choice making it was a wonderful talk pooja ji uh, your your talk uh, actually we felt that you know the mental flexibility is so important to grow in life so art of forgiveness is definitely should be practiced thank you so much ma'am